There is a great way of working in SageRun Accounting with our master file and document listings. These have been designed to make your life even easier. Your master file listings would include, for example, your list of customers or suppliers, and your document listings would be all of your quotes, invoices, etc. Not only do these screens look and feel fantastic, they also allow you to do so much. Let's take a quick look at what you can do. On your list of customers, you are able to view all of the customers that you have set up within your company, along with relevant information pertaining to each one of them. If you are setting up for the first time, you can add or import your list of customers straight from the screen. Remember, you can search this list for any information that is displayed on screen, for example a specific customer. You can customize your listing to include columns that you consider important to your business and remove columns that are not necessarily relevant. You can even export this listing into an Excel supported CSV file with all the information that is contained on your screen. If you would like to sort this listing differently, we have given you a multi-sort option to allow you to prioritize which customers appear at the top of the listing. An example would be to sort this list by largest balance first and then alphabetically on the customer's name. You can basically do everything that has to do with customers from this screen alone. You have access to the most important customer reports by clicking on the quick reports button. You are able to invoice, quote, or receive money from any one of your customers by using the actions drop down. And the quick view option will give you a quick, meaningful insight into what has happened with this customer. If you need to change any information or view any details, you can click through on the customer name to bring up their master file information. The document listings work in exactly the same way. In the example of our list of tax invoices, you will have the same options to customize your grid with your most important invoice fields, multi-sort your listing, and export it into Excel. You will also have access to all relevant reports related to customer tax invoices. The filter option is useful for isolating specific documents, for example unpaid and overdue invoices. This is where you could make use of the multi-action options, which allow you to print or email all or some of the invoices on display. You are able to action a number of options on your documents. You can add or view any document notes, include an anticipated payment date or attach a file to the invoice. The Actions drop-down gives you many options per document, for example, previewing the invoice, copying it, or viewing the document history. To edit or review the invoice, you would click on the invoice number to drill down to the invoice screen. Transactions that form part of a locked VAT period or a locked financial period will display a lock icon alongside them, which means that they cannot be edited. If you would like to readjust the size of your grid columns, drag the columns to the size you require and select the customized grid icon and save the column widths. You have the option to reset these column widths as well. If you would like to change the number of rows that appear in this grid, click on the number of rows option which will navigate you to your preferences under my profile. All of these easy to use options are available on all of your master file and document listings. All designed to make your life that little bit easier. Thank you for watching.